hey youtube walk one welcome back to the channel so today we're gonna go ahead and replace the oil and this this um hyundai accent this is 2020 go ahead and replace the oil you might want to lose the cap if you want that's just help the oil to flow more easier since you won't try to create any vacuum <coughs> and you want to get underneath the car no matter how you get underneath the car if you have a lift you use a lift if you have a jack you use a jack if you have a ramp where you can drive the car up on something like this you can use that but for now i'm gonna use a lift because i have a lift also please go ahead like comment share subscribe to the channel let's raise this car up so guys you want to come underneath your car once you're underneath a car you want to locate your engine your transmission is this over here your engine gonna be on this side another way to locate your engine you can look where your exhaust go to okay, your exhaust gonna go to your engine and not your transmission so once that's done you want to come right here and as you can see it's leaking oil through here so we got to replace this the new filter should come with it so let's go ahead and remove the oil filter and also right here is your drain plug look to me like it's 17 millimeter so let's drain the oil first so guys you're gonna want to have something to catch the oil that's what i have 17 millimeter link will be in the description for the tools and also i will leave a link in the description for a drain for an oil drain um, pan So I'm draining the oil right now. And then, and then we're gonna move towards the and then we're gonna move towards the filter right here. Right here is where your oil filter located. They change it from 2020 and up. They change the style oil filter. Alright, let's do this also guys what you can do is check your your washer on your on your nut um if it's look like it's worn out you can put it back reuse it it's not gonna leak but make sure on the next oil change you just go ahead and get it so i'm gonna go ahead and put that back because once it weren't leaking before you take it off you put it back it's not gonna leak but change it the next time if it needs to be changed. They're really cheap. Are you, every time you change your oil, you can change them. They're like 80, 80 cent. They're really cheap. So the next step, we're gonna go get the filter right here. So at the bottom of the filter, you're gonna have this. It's gonna be 21 millimeter. As you can see, that fit right there. Seems like somebody tightened it real hard. So the person before me, they probably over tighten it. Now to take cut now it's time to change out the filter itself. So this is your oil filter. You can go ahead and pull that up. As you can see, the person that put in the filter they bent this right here. And it's also leaking right here, so we gotta push this out. Gotta pull this out then you can pull this out also you can see that so once that's out you 
you can see this look damaged so so hopefully let's see what come in the box so um this one look like it's a used one it's diff it's not an original one this doesn't come in the box and this is bent i don't know how it bent don't ask me no question it's my first time even doing one of this so let's get this just wipe it down get rid of most of the grease and this what the this is what the new oil filter look like it's also come with that part so you might have to remove it remove the pin before so you're gonna push this down once you push this down and then lock in it come with a new pin also so this is our original come with this pin you just push this in once that's locked that's good but I forget so it's a good thing I do this way so if you if yours have the original filter you're gonna push this out like that and pull up on the filter itself push on this tool and pull up you want to push on it so once you push on it and pull up that's where it's gonna come out make sure even this is different So guys, now I figure it out. This part that's in here, it goes up into nothing. So I guess this part not supposed to be on it. This part is not supposed to be on it because it doesn't seal on anything. That doesn't come with that. Somebody just tried some other thing and that's why it's it bent and damaged the housing. It started to damage the housing. So this is a this is a used filter this one filter right here is a used is a is an aftermarket filter the filter that i have right here is an original filter so just the way you saw me take out the original filter that's why you got to take out your filter if it's original find the holes put this back once that's good Run this through and then this is what gonna seal and the inside is hard and then you get the big o-ring that come in the package and put this on so don't kill me it's my first time doing this so once that's good you find the grooves that is supposed to go in just like that get some oil lubricate the the o-ring then you can go ahead and put and install it right here so that's it we're gonna go ahead and tighten it up do not over tighten it so just remove this the oil it take is 0 w20 so you can go ahead and put three quart check the oil and if you need more you add more you don't have to use the oil I use you can use whatever oil you want whatever brand you want to use but make sure it's full synthetic so I'm just going to put three quarts 
and then I'm gonna check the oil. So I'm gonna let it settle first and then check the oil. So let's go ahead and check the oil. Pull out the dipstick, wipe it off. Go ahead and put it back in. Pull it out. You want to see what level it's at. So it's a little bit below the. It's halfway there, so I'm just going to put another quart and that should be good. So, you know, this one takes four quart. So once that's done, you can go ahead and remove this right here and tighten it up. Go ahead, crank your engine up, start the car and so once you start your engine, you let the oil circulate throughout the engine. I want to check on the inside, make sure that um, your oil pressure is good. So I have no oil, sim oil light symbol, so my oil pressure is good. And you want to check underneath the car to make sure there's no leak. So let it just run for a little bit. And then you want to cut it off. And then you want to check, double check your oil again. So cut it off. Let the oil and let the engine sit for like two minutes. So once you cut it off, let it sit for two minutes. And after it sit for two minutes, you just gonna come around here and wipe it off. Make sure you wipe it clean. Put it back in, pull it back out, and yep. That's it guys, please go ahead, like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel, peace out, see you next time.